um, I had bought a bunch of books from the bookstore a couple days, or not even a couple days ago, it was like a couple weeks ago, and they didn't have all the parts to the series, so I had to go online and look for them and find them. Um, so I've been waiting to read these books or start reading these books until I had gotten the rest of the rest of the series in. So I have a bunch of books right here, as you can see, and I have a big box as well. I don't remember what I bought from that place. So I also have my handy dandy scissors here. So we're going to be opening the first one and seeing which one it is. So we open this one best as I can without scratching the book up or anything like that. Scissors are not very sharp. I've had them for a very long time, so I'm going to do my best to make this as interesting as I can for opening up books. Okay. Alright, first one down. Package, we're just going to throw it on the floor for now, right? We can pick that up later. Ooh, okay. So this one is The Dream Thieves, book two of the Raven Boys. So this one here by Maggie... I can't pronounce her last name. So I've read books, um, other books by her before and have enjoyed them. So I actually have the first one, the one that I actually was able to find at the bookstore. Um, this one, The Raven Boys. So this one is hardback, hardcover here. This one's paperback. As I stated in my last video, I don't really care if I have a whole series and hardback or paperback doesn't matter to me. So this series, I believe, has like four books total or five books so the rest of the series should be in my packages or in the my big stack right here so off to the second book opening this one very very exciting This one is Crystal Blade by Catherine Perdue. So I believe this one, yes. So this one goes with the My Burning Glass series or book that I bought. So this is the first one. I don't remember how many books in the series this one had. Um, trilogy, so this is just right on the back of it. It's a trilogy. So we have one more to go for that series. On to the next one. Tear it apart. Okay, let's cut it a little bit and tear it apart. That's all we can do at this point. Ooh, this one here. Shatter me. So, this one, I don't remember what this one was about. Um, this one's by... I, I can't even, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I don't want to butcher it, but Shatter Me is like six books of the series, in the series or something like that. So I have three of the books already. So there's Shatter Me and these aren't going to be in order. Um, and then Unravel Me, Imagine Me, and Defy Me. And I know I have the rest of the series in my stack here. So let's see here. Four of the series, four, the four of parts of the series. On to the next one. Let's drop my scissors. Ooh, the traitor. So, I remember on this one. Um, I have the first one of the series already that I was able to find at the bookstore. This one is called, the first one's called The Monster. So let's talk about the cover on this one. And I'll go back and talk about the covers on the others. So I tried to find the remaining of the series of this one in this type of um, the cover. Because they, re, they redid the cover. I don't know what that's called whenever they changed editions or whatever. And I think maybe the cover changed from this to this. Or it could be vice versa. I could be wrong on that. I just know whenever I was looking it up, I was like, wait, is this actually the same book? Because it's very different from this other one. 
Um, if I could choose, I would say I would prefer these covers over this one, just because to me, my packaging slip just fell out. To me, this cover is more interesting than this cover, but that's just my opinion. And I know we shouldn't judge cover or books by their covers, but I do, so sue me, right? <laughs> so there's those two. I believe there's three or four in this series. So let's go on to the next one here. Oh my goodness, I don't know why they make these so hard to get into. It's like buying things, you know, at the store and that are packaged in the plastic packaging. You grab your scissors and you try to cut it open. You grab a knife, try to get it open. And it's just like the worst thing ever to actually get into. Ooh, wings. So this is, I have not had that one yet, I don't think. Nope, yes. Here we go. So this one is the one that goes to, this is Wings by Elizabeth Richards. So this is the third book, the third book in the series, the Black City trilogy. So on this one, I really, really like the covers on this one as well. I'm a sucker for covers, what can I say? Um, I like the colors of this one. I don't know if you can tell on this one. Um, it is like a rose, if you were to like, make a glass rose or freeze a rose and then you know um shatter it that's what that one is so we got the black city phoenix so we got a phoenix feather going up in flames with the city in the background here and this one is called wings so it's like a glass butterfly that's shattering with the city in the background so to me they're just you know the covers you know i see the covers i'm like oh that looks interesting let me pick up the book and see what the synopsis says on to the next one. Okay. I'm not very strong. I have no muscles, so this is much harder than it should be. Well, I'm seeing the back of it, and I'm thinking it's part of the Raven Boy series. My assumption of what I can see from the back of it. And I was right. This is the part I saw. So this is the Raven King. This is book four of the Raven Boys. Book four of the Raven Boys. So I put it over here. Gotta find my piles. There's so many books. So we're missing book three of that one still. All right. So a lot of light when it comes out nice and easy. Oh, this is another Shatter Me one. This is Restore Me. Restore Me on this one. Alright. This is the last one I have. Wait, no, I lied. I have one more that's in the package form, and then we get to open up the fun one. Well, I don't know if it's going to be fun, but the box one. This don't have to cut open any more plastic wrap. Oh. Another Shatter Me one. So this is Ignite Me. I have no idea what order these books go into. But that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So I believe that's the last of that series, but I could be wrong. I'm wrong usually, so would be no surprise to me. Well. I always tell my boyfriend I'm always, I'm always right, so he'd probably see this video and say, no, that's not what she says. Woo. I kind of bent that a little bit right there. You can't see it. See that? I'm sad. This one's called Blue Lily, Lily Blue. So this is the book three of the Raven Boys, book three. All right. On to the box. The box. Now I gotta figure out how to open this thing. So I think, yes. See, this box has a full here tab. It looks a little dented in, but we're gonna do our best. Trash this side. Looks like this now. So we're just gonna use our woman's straight and bust open the box, right? 
best I got. three books in here. Do you want to see what the box looks like now? It's destroyed. Destroyed box. Pretty good box just for three books, right? I feel like it's kind of a waste. All right. So we have the Tyrant. And that, so the Tyrant that goes with the Monster Series, or it's not called the Monster Series, but this one here. So we have the monster, and this series is by Seth Dickinson. So the monster, the traitor, and the tyrant. And if you can see, so this is the cover for this one, and then in this particular um, cover scheme, whatever you wanna call it, this one here, the monster, that's the one that would have went with this edition. Of that series so I believe that's all in that one this one is called frozen rain so this is the third book that goes with this series I have in my lap right yeah crystal blade burning glass novel oh yeah so this one's gonna be burning glass and then I'm not for sure the other which the which two go next after that all right and then this one we have I have not shown shown you guys this one I don't know I gotta figure out where this first one's at which I'm just now realizing is I'm missing a book so the first one in this series is called bloodly and then I don't know if this one is the second or third one, but I'm pretty sure there, yeah, there should be another one of, of this in the series. And as you can see, once again, different editions. Um, I think the cover, this one actually says international edition right here. So this one doesn't say anything, but I'm pretty sure there's a third one to this. I could be wrong. I thought there was, but I think I might be missing it if there is, because that's all the books I have. See? Box is empty. Alright, we're going to toss that behind us, because we don't need it anymore. And now let's focus on the covers and what do we think about them. So, let's do the Catherine Purdue Burning Glass. So, this is, I know for sure, is the first one. These two are the... All right, so it's actually got on the back of this one. So, Burning Glass is the first one, Crystal Blade is the second, and then Frozen Rain is the third. So these covers here are more on like the darker side, um, and then it's brightened up by the colors that are within the picture. So these, all of these obviously have like an element of jewelry I guess you could say I mean this one's a sword um but they're not bed covers I think they are interesting so that was that one all right the raven boys so we got the raven boys so we got the first one and then the second one the third one and then the fourth one so, I don't know if anybody's ever really noticed, but it seems like books like to have color, like, color schemes, I guess. Like, you could, so if you compare this series, The Crystal Blade, with the Raven Boy, Boy series, like, this one's a blue, this one's green, this one's, like, a red-blue, same with this one, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but this one, green blue blue black I don't know what I'm trying to say with that but that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> um so the Raven boy covers I mean I think these ones definitely hint towards more of the young teen 
you know, the young teen aspect. They look more, you know, teenish than anything else. And then the Blood, Blood Leaf series. But once again, I believe I'm missing the third book, so I gotta look into that. Um, I really think whoever did the cover art on this one, I think it's a really, really good, really good drawing and, you know, not bad at all. But I do prefer this cover over this cover. But that's just because I'm weird. Alright, and then this one, the monster. Once again, we kind of we already talked about this one, this one, or I already talked about this one, so I'm not gonna go that far in depth in it. But can we talk about like the size differences on these ones? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I mean, obviously this one looks a little chunkier because it's not as tall as the books. So there's not, you know, but like this is the first one, this is the second one, and then look at that third one. Makes me wonder if maybe they were wanting to make this into a four part series and just decided not to. This one's so chunky. All right, and then to the Shatter Me one. Once again, I don't know the order of this book off the top of my head. I would have to look it up. But all of these, all of these books have the eye as the cover art. And I honestly like the covers of these. I think they're really pretty and kind of unique and, you know, you see it and you're like, oh, what is that about, you know? And I also thought it was interesting on these ones, the pages on the paperback are just normal looking pages, but on this one, on the hardcovers, look like they've been kind of torn, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know if you can see that, which is kind of cool. Adds another element to the book, adds another layer of interest, of intrigue, I guess you could say. All right, so that was that one. So let me show you, oh wait, we already went over the Black City one, right? I got ahead of myself on that one. So those ones were interesting. Once again, the color themes, red, yellow, blue. Seems to be a common, blue especially, seems very, very, very common and green as colors for the cover of a book. All right, so now the next one I have it, it just recently came out, I believe in 2022. It's called City of Gods and Monsters. So this is just book one. So the series is gonna be called A House of is a House of Devils. So this is House of Devils novel. Um, look how thick this is just for the first one. Isn't that crazy? Um, so this one seemed really, really interesting in the cover, you know, really is pulled me in instantly. Um, but I'm, hesitant to read this one yet just because since it is a new book obviously the second part of this series isn't out yet so I always hate having to I don't like to go back and reread books um if I can not if I could choose I would not do that but I understand once again like if my interest gets the best of me and I read all these books and run out of books I'm probably going to read it and then just reread it when the second one comes out which is fine I'll survive no worries there and then I have three more books that are not a part of the series, are not a part of a series, um, but they seemed interesting enough for me to buy. So the first one is a much older book, I believe it was 1991 is the copyright, so it's Wilderness by Dennis Danvers. I think I pronounced their last name right. Now, as you can tell by the cover, it is definitely one look at that and you're like, oh yeah, that's definitely an older older book. Um, I don't believe this one is a series. I didn't see anything about it being a series. Um, this is more of, I believe, like a romance novel mixed in with like the supernatural. I think the main character is supposed to be like a werewolf or something and she meets a guy and you know, all the good stuff. So just one of those ones that kind of seemed interesting whenever I was looking in not the YA section. So the next one is called Strange Grace by Tessa Grattan. Um, I thought this one was part of a series, but I looked it up and it didn't. The synopsis, so the synopsis kind of made it seem like it was going to be part of a series because the it seems like a really interesting storyline. And I was like, okay, how are they really going to 
make that like a well in depth character and things like that whenever like the book's really not that long and it's just one but we'll see it's not that interesting so i hope so the next one is dark and shallow lies this one the cover is really i think is really really pretty um i don't know if you can really tell on that one but it's, it's got like the flowers and lily pads and stuff on it um and this one is by jenny myers same jenny myers same i I think that's how you pronounce it so yeah that was the last one in this pile of books so i'm going to start reading one of them hopefully here soon i don't know which one though so i'll have to figure that out but i'll definitely definitely be uploading obviously some more videos and stuff like that after i read them i'll try not to do them all at once just because that is a lot of books to try to talk about in one video but that was that. I got a pile of trash on my floor now that I'm going to have to pick up. So I'm going to go do that and hopefully start reading here soon.